All right, so today we're going to be using Airbnb's code style in our Next.js app that's using TypeScript. This can also be done with apps that are for React apps that are using TypeScript, so you can follow along. The first thing you need to do is create a Next.js project with TypeScript. So this must be a TypeScript project, and we can continue from there. So imagine that you are creating a project and you're making an app and you want to have consistency across your code base, right? That's why you need these code styles and these rules to apply. So for example, you want to have semicolons columns at the end of each line, right? You need a code style to enforce that. <coughs> now, now, we want to set that up and we're going to be using Airbnb's code style for that. So we have to add their code styles to our ESLint JSON file. But before that, we have to install the ESLint config Airbnb. So we're going to copy this over. We go to our terminal and we're going to say dash dash save dev. This will, we will install it as a dev dependency, right? And the next thing we want to do is install this. And this is ESLint config Airbnb TypeScript. So this is basically the config. But just for TypeScript, not for JavaScript. And we're going to install this, but not like this. We're going to install it with the instructions below. So we're going to copy that and install it, right? And now we have the dev dependencies. Now, after we installed this, we have to go to our ESLint RC and we have to set it up. So this extends. If you don't have anything here or you should have actually because you're creating an xjs project with typescript but if you don't this is just just an extends property you add this you wrap it inside an array and we have to add the airbnb config now so we're going to say airbnb and we're going to say airbnb typescript and practically that's it right it sounds it's very simple and it it, it is this simple we have added it now so the next thing we should do is add parser options and add here project and we should target our typescript config.json can also write it like this it might give a warning but you should write it like this so we add our typescript project typescript config.json and you can see that the index file is going red why is it going red well because our config our code style is working as it should be right so we have the errors here i i classify them as errors because you don't you don't push this code unless everything is fixed it says missing semicolon right so you go quick fix and you fix it but that's not a good way what if i have 50 files imported here, right? Then I would have to go and add semicolons to every to every line. What we should do is set up the fixing of these lint errors automatically, right? So to do this, you have to go to settings and then you have to write code actions. Okay, and you're gonna have your settings JSON and inside of here we're gonna write inside of this editor dot code actions on save you're gonna say source dot fix all is gonna be true so it should fix all the errors and in the ESLint dot validate I like to add JavaScript and TypeScript in this array you have to set this up if you want to fix these errors when you save your file. So I'm going to say right now, say right click. Is there a save on here? It isn't. But I'm going to save with my keyboard. So press save and there you go. The semicolons are all fixed. This isn't fixed because it says React must be in scope. That's an import, import problem. So we have to import it manually. So we go import React from React. We add the import and there you go. All the errors are gone. And now you have Airbnb's code style. So you have everything set up.
to use it. One last thing is that you should also always before committing and adding your code and pushing it run npm run lint we're gonna run the linter and it will find all the errors that that will that are in our project based on this based on our airbnb code style so we can see that pages app dot dsx has some problems right you go to the to the page you save it adds the semicolons and everything else that it, that it can fix on its own and the next thing it says react must be in scope when using jsx okay we understand that so we're gonna go import react from react okay an error is gone and we go here so it says page spreading prop spreading is forbidden maybe i don't like that maybe i want to spread my props right so i have to exclude this rule right here this rule i want to exclude it right so to fix this i'm gonna go to eslint rcjson and i'm gonna add rules and you can read up on this but ex essentially you have to add your own rules to be included or excluded here so what you're gonna do is say react slash jsx props no spreading and you're gonna say off Okay, we're going to save the app. And you saw that the error disappeared. It should appear back again, I think. See, it appears back. We add the off statement. It disappears. So we excluded the rule for prop spreading. And now, when we run our npm run lint, we should see that, yeah, pages app.tsx is not having any more problems so you're going to go to the next document i'm going to say to document dot dsx save react must be in scope you do what the linter says import react from react save it no more problems and so on and so forth right and when you fix all of them you run npm run lint and you should see that everything is green and this is a beautiful message that you want to see before you push and commit and push your code and that's it that's how you add airbnb's code style to your type